All right, what's going on, everybody? We finally did it. We beat Alex's 14-week winning streak. Now, I'm going to be breaking down the strategy that helped me do this and that has me on a 15-week winning streak in the Signal Group. Now, this trade that I took this week that initiated all of this to start is my favorite setup to take. It's a setup that's the most high probability setup that you could take. It's not presented every single day, but when it's presented, it's definitely a setup that you should take advantage of. Now, let's get right into it. All right, now, this is what we're presented with when we come to sit down to trade. Right now, at 8.30, this is what I'm working with on USD CAD. So the first thing I do is I go on the M5 time frame and I mark the highs and lows of days and the previous highs and previous lows of days. And you guys are going to see how crucial this is to mark these correctly to have the setup that we took. This is what validates the setup. Now, if you guys are not familiar with my session based indicators, you guys should definitely check out my previous YouTube videos on how to mark the highs and lows of days. I have I explained my exact settings on how to mark the highs and lows of days. Now, since we're trading here on Monday, the high and low of day is going to be coming from one previous trading day, which if we're trading Monday, it's going to be Friday. It's not going to be Saturday or Sunday because that is not a trading day. And the other rule to mark the high and low of day is that it has to be between the highest point between Frankfurt session and New York session. So Asia session does not count. If it's the highest point that's not in session, for example, if we had a point that was up here, not in session, it would not be valid. It has to be in session. Again, if you guys do not have the indicator for this time based lines, definitely check out the YouTube video that I have called on how to mark the highs and lows of days. I go in detail on the settings. Now, since we're going to mark the highest point between Frankfurt and a New York session is going to be this area right here. We got the high of day right here and the lowest point between Frankfurt and New York session on Friday was this area right here. So we marked this as low of day. And then now we're going to mark the previous high and previous low of day, which is going to be two previous trading days than the one we're trading from. So it's going to be coming from Thursday's price point. So we got Thursday's price point right here, previous high of day, this area right here. And then now we've got to mark the previous low of day, which is still the same rules. It's just two previous days. Now, this is the lowest point between Frankfurt and New York session, this area right here. So we go ahead and mark this like this previous low of day. And then now the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and do a top down analysis starting on the weekly time frame. So right now I'm on the weekly time frame and I'm going to go ahead and find like literally just do a top down analysis. So on the weekly time frame, what I could see is that we have this air supplier here that's price tapped, gave us a pullback into this area of demand. You can see this area of demand right here. So let me go ahead and mark it like this. Oh, this is area of demand right here. So we get a reaction off this area of supply. This reaction is to take us into this area of demand. Now we're pushing up. So we got to go to the next time frame, which is the daily time frame. And what do we have on the daily time frame? So if we break this down on the daily time frame, we can see that price is pretty much reacting off this area of supply. Look at it right here. Previous contrary candle that creates a push. So now price is coming off supply. So notice how price came off supply here into demand and now price is going from demand to supply and then now from supply back to demand so the next area of interest for price is going to be this area of demand on the daily this area right here so we go ahead and mark it like this it's daily right here and then now we go to h4 the h4 time frame we're going to see how clean this looks so on the end h4 time frame notice how all the puzzle pieces are tying in together so look at this we are coming from this area of demand get this push this then price creates this air supply to take us down to demand. Then we push into that supply. We're reacting off that supply. And then now price has to find demand here in this area. So and also notice how price gets this area of supply created on H4 after touching that daily supply. So look, at it's like an entry It's literally an entry confirmation, not an entry confirmation to enter. It's just confirming that price is respecting these areas and creating an air supply on a lower time frame off the higher time frame supply. So notice daily supply price creates an H4 supply off of it. Notice this push price pulls back into the previous contrary candle that creates a push. And now we're reacting off of it. So keeping all this in mind, you can pretty much see how we're looking for sales to target this daily demand and this H4 demand once we break past this area here. So keeping this in mind, we could go one more time frame down H1. And what do we have H1? We turn on our session based indicator and we have an area of supply pretty much right here in confluence with the low of day. So I'll just go ahead and mark it like this area supply on h1 and then now we go one time from lower lower and this is what we have right here so this is where the sauce comes in this like this setup couldn't get any more high probability now my favorite setup to take is when we have the previous session setting us up so if we're trading new york session the previous session is going to go ahead and beat pre-new york now i need you guys to wake up and pay attention because i'm gonna drop some heat for you guys and you literally paid two thousand dollars for a course and not even learn this 
So our previous session is setting us up. Notice how we have the H1 supply right here. And then on M15, we have the M15 supply right here from pre New York, right? So we have the M15 supply right here in confluence with the low of date, right? Now we go to M5 time frame, And what do we have? We have the M5 supply right here. This area right here, M5 supply. So we go ahead and mark it like that. And then now notice how we go to M1. And M1 is not a little bit too clean, but in reality, the M1 supply would be right here. But this is enough for me to place my cell limit right here. This is enough for me to place my cell limit right here because we have the M15 in confluence with the low of day, in confluence with the H1, in confluence with the M5 from our previous session. This is where the push starts from right here. So I also, I'm not gonna lie, I would mark this area right here as well, just to keep in mind. But this is where I took the self limit from because this is the, the previous contrary candle that creates this push on M15. Notice on M15, this is already touched. This is already touched. So this is the supply on M15. So I'm looking to sell from this area, not this area up here, because this M5 is in confluence with this M15 that creates this push. So say, keeping all that in mind, I sent a sell limit in the signal group right here at 36354, literally right here with a 10 pip stop loss, which would cover if price pulls back into this area right here either way. Now, keeping that in mind, we're shooting for at least a one to two, one to three if possible even a one to four. Now this trade did give a one to three. Now you're gonna see how price pretty much reacts off this area to the exact pip. Now watch this. Price pulls back into this area as soon as New York session opens. Notice how we pull back into this area. Price taps this area to the exact pip and that is where the volume comes off of. So pretty much we go into no drawdown. Look at this. Price goes straight into profit and then notice how price pulls back one more time and then now we pretty much hit take profit for a one to two one to three and then you can see how new york session ends all right so you, this, you can see how pretty much this trade gave us a one to three the new york session ends here and you can see how precise this strategy is so keep in mind this right this this is the what to take away from this video we have our previous session setting us up we have multiple time frame confluences that created the push from the previous session we have m15 in confluence with m5 and plus the cherry on top is that it's in confluence with a low of day. This is a super high probability trade. And you can see how it played out perfect. As soon as New York session opens, we pull back into that area and we go straight into profit. All right, now you guys are seeing, I'm not messing around out here. We're actually providing a lot of value in these videos. I'm not holding anything back in these videos. If you were to actually watch the video step by step and take notes, you have a strategy that's proven to work that has me on a 15 week winning streak in the signal group. All you gotta do is take advantage of this and study the content and put in the work and I promise you, you will see results. Now, if you guys wanna be part of the Signal Group, you can go ahead and click the link on my Instagram and right there you will have access to join the Signal Group. Also make sure you guys are in the free Telegram and make sure you guys are subscribed. I provide a lot of value every single day and you guys don't wanna miss out. All right, so make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.